use that extra little bit of boost. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sam and that there is my off-grid adventure rig. It was a standard VW Crafter and we took it and turned it into a luxury off-grid van. So if you're new here, um, we have loads of videos about how we did that build and how we've got on with it and all the upgrades that we've done. So if you're interested, just have a look through the back catalogue and there might be something there that you find interesting and might help you with your build. To allow us to visit and explore more of the areas that we're travelling, we use e-bikes. So we've teamed up this week with Duots. They have sent us the C29 to review and put through its paces. It's quite an easy build-up. We'll take you through what we did. We'll take you through the key features and then we're going to take it out and show you what it can do. So it's on its first charge. We're just going to leave that charging outside. Don't know how it's going to behave. So never leave these charging on their own or unattended. So, <coughs> excuse me, from the outset, really well put together. Enjoyed putting it together. All I had to do was fix the wheels, the handlebars, the seat, the rack, the pedals, and um, fit the battery, that was it. Headlight, headlight mug guard. These, these are all optional extras, but at the minute there's a deal on where you get the mug guard, you get this, and the pannier, I think. First impressions, I really like this bike. Um, I've got two more e-bikes and this uh, is my favorite at the minute i'll be honest with you um just need to sort out this little bit of a issue there with the with the moisture that's trapped in there i don't know how that's got in there i don't know hopefully in the sunlight it'll just evaporate but uh, something we need to look at but yeah that is the only downside to let that little bit of uh, moisture in there but the bike overall it has suspension on the front which is an added bonus with the roads in the condition they are around here um, really good it's, it's a nice confident feel when you're riding the bike as well I may lower the headset as well I may cut a bit of this down just to make it feel a bit, little bit more comfortable for me I'm sat a little bit too upright um, my favorite position is a little bit more leaned over so a little bit of adjustment to do on the bike but the disc brakes a cable they work exceptionally well but i'm going to swap these out for hydraulics and uh, hopefully they'll make a, a huge huge difference but these are more than adequate for what's on there now 29 inch wheel and it comes with a good all-terrain tire on there these are these are quite a standard tire but that'll take you across lanes roads field it's it will cover everything yeah the pannier is well constructed i can see that getting a bit of stick i can also see somebody sitting on the back of there <laughs> well the new brakes have finally arrived and we're in the middle of installing them and to be honest with you it's really straightforward so this is what we've done so far we've taken all this side off put the new lever on that's lever assembly it has like a little carbon fiber look feels nice real positive action on there i have got the spacer in the brake so i'm just about to strip out this caliper we've changed over the disc so the rotor has gone from a 160 to a, a 180 wave style one that was quite straightforward we've locked tighted it on as well so how long about 20 minutes so far but i just wanted to show you this all the connections so this one here is for the brakes this red one and this one here the orange one is for the lights and the horn so we'll do that mount the new spacer on because we put a 180 on there we need to step out the caliper a little bit so they'll all be locked tight on as well and basically we have used three allen keys so far now if you've already built your bike up and you're running the new brake caliper down to the rear hub and you've fitted your bike rack the easiest way to get your cables out is just to pop that bolt out it's the only reason i'm showing you this because i got to there i was trying to get the old lever through 
and I realised it wasn't going to go, so I've just taken out the bolt. Dead easy. And that's it done. New disc brakes on the front. New levers, uh, hoses and caliper. We've also changed the rotor. The rear wheel, we changed the rotor on that. And again, this was all one unit. Caliper, hose and lever. That's the front, that's the back. <laughs> so yeah, all good. This pump come with it, so I've cable tied that under the rack just in case we ever need it. And they're on, they are on Velcro ties, brilliant little bit of kit. Also, we've got this scent. This comes as part of the toolkit. Handy, might just get you out of a spot of bother. I am looking for somewhere to, to mount that as well. Also this, this pouch come with it. So this is for your phone. And look at that, there's a USB there for charging. Let me open that up. I don't have nails, so I will struggle. But there you go, a USB that comes off your battery. There's a little entry bit there on the side of the pouch. So you can connect your phone up. This bike, do what's do an app for this bike and it connects to the controller and allows you to see how fast you're going, the miles you've done on your phone. Display also gets all the data from that and shows it on your phone. So you can look at it later. It's like a bit of a bit like a Strava as well on that app. You can share where you've been. There's a, a, a navigation tool on there as well. Shows your maps. So another little perk. Comes with rear light and a front light. And look at this. It even has a brake light built in. And that works on front and back brake. This is the sequence for starting the bike. Turn it on. Press and hold the display. You see the light came on, so we'll turn the light off. So that's the display on. Now you can just cycle through your power settings. One to five. There is a secret disc screen on here as well, so you can go in and change the settings. And it's just press and hold. There you go. It goes into P1, and you press the start button to scroll through, and it'll give you all your settings. Goes into P1, 13, like right up to 20, I think. Yeah. So there you go. You want to come out of that? Just press and hold. Turns it off. But I'm sure if you just press the plus and minus again, it takes you right back out of that, that secret settings. So yeah, nice ergonomic controls. Lights, you can see it's shining there on the side. Positive click. Momentary button for the horn. And what an annoying horn. But I like it. <laughs> Let's look at the gears. We've got three cogs at the front. Seven on the back, giving us 21 gears. Nice and smooth operation. It is a Shimano Truni TZ. The forks have a nice function as well. You can lock them out if you're climbing, or if you don't need them, if you're on nice smooth ground. And you can adjust at this point here. Okay. That way, clockwise to increase, anti-clockwise to decrease. We fitted everything that came with the bike, some mug guards, they came with the bike, and this rack came with the bike. Nice tail light built into the rack as well. I really do like that. If you're gonna start doing a bit of traveling, you can always add panniers to there, but that to come with the bike is a nice feature, I think, because Nine times out of ten you'll jump on your back, your bike, with your rucksack or your backpack and it just gets in the way. It's nice and easy if you can just bolt it on the back of the bike. For me, I get hot and bothered with the rucksack on my back so I will be bunging mine onto there. I like that. Also I like the little sticker that shows you where to charge. And if you need to you can check how much battery life you've got left as well. Just by pressing that button, it's probably not in the best place but it is just a bit of an aid. So the bike does come partially built, 
But what I would recommend is that you go around and you check every Allen bolt and every nut. We found one or two that were loose. Concerning thing for me, one of them, well, several of them, were on the rear disc. It was a good job we were changing it out, but I'm sure somewhere in the small print it will tell you that you should be checking all the bolts. So just bear that in mind. Overall, nice easy bike to build up, quick bike to build up. The upgrading of the brakes takes a little bit of time. I would allow an hour and a two an hour and a half if you've never done that sort of thing before. But if you have and you've got all the right tools, it's a nice quick job. Right, time to get this thing loaded up and go and put it through its paces. Right, let's get through this gate and see what this thing can do. So we're straight on the throttle and it's very responsive. Pulling straight up to 15 and a half mile an hour. We're on a slight incline. Pedal assist kicks straight in. And it's pulling like a little train. That's that's really good that. Right, we're on a slightly steeper bit now. Um, still pulling. We're on 14.5 miles an hour there. On our right we've got a slight, uh, slightly steeper incline. So we'll head up there and see how it behaves. Yep, it's behaving really well. It's, it's, it's back up to 14 mile an hour. We're not struggling. On the single track, it's absolutely brilliant. Go watch your throttle on here because uh, if you don't, you'll end up in the mud. And on the flat, well, this thing comes into its own. It is flat out everywhere. I'm loving it. Still getting a workout, don't care what anybody says. I'm blowing out my ass. But that just makes life that little bit easier. That little bit, I've climbed for probably the last mile and a half and uh, I can still talk and breathe. So I'm enjoying it <laughs> and it's nice. Let you have a look where we're at. And that got me here, got me out of the house, got me out trying it. The weather has tried to spoil that, but <coughs> as you can see, it's not a bad little bike. The mud guard is a bit springy, it's caught the wheel a couple of times, so just bend it out a little bit. The headlight is pointing up into the stars, so adjust that down a little bit as well but I have <laughs> absolutely no complaints I'm enjoying it the weather's definitely rolling in sun's setting maybe time to head back I must admit, I enjoyed that. We've tested it to destruction. We lost the mug guard. It's only a bolt that's come out. We've lost the headlight. Well, we've not lost it. It's just not where we left it. <laughs> so when I get back, we need to bolt that back on. Mug guard back on. I don't know if I put the mug guards back on, to be honest. Great if you're just gonna use them out and about. Around here not very good because the terrain they just bang and clatter all the time the whole way around there they were banging so I probably will take them off but yeah I've enjoyed that it was half an hour a good climb for like 15 20 minutes and then we've come down dropped down through some single track there I don't know what we got on the 360 because when I finished up there <laughs> It was in the dirt, so that'll be interesting to see what it's captured. Suspension bottom out a little bit, but I am weighing on the the heavier side, so the descent was quite hard on the arms. Um, had to keep the speed down, 
where if I'd had a downhill rig, we'd have whipped, we'd have ripped that last bit. But again, that last bit took its toll on the light and the mud guard. But all in all, that is a great little entry bike. Um, yeah, love you. I like it, yeah, I do like it. Well, I'm glad I bought them lenses. That 360s took a, a pound in. Give that a clean up when we get it home. But yeah, it just took a, just took a bit of a hammering. <laughs> it must have been in some water as well or something. But we'll check that when we get back home. It's still, still working. So we're back home, we've done the repairs, we've got the mud guard back on and the light right in the, in the right position. We've thread tightened that bolt in, but I give that a good hiding, a good rip through the woods. Um, that last mile back down to where the car was parked is really rough and obviously took its toll, highlighted the issue there. But this is a great little bike, it handled the lot. And I would be honest with you, if you were going to consider getting one of these bikes, check our description first. There'll be some affiliated links or discount codes down there for you. But this is a great entry-level little bike. It's got a very similar frame to the Carrera. Um, strip it all back. It's a little hard turn mountain bike and it is good at what it does. For me, I will be keeping hold of this. Um, this is my favourite new toy. I've got a new toy in the garage and I'm enjoying it. Even Riley loves this. Riley, I've got to fight to keep him off it. But anyway, it's a great little bike. We're going to take this to Spain with us um, and hopefully we'll get many more miles out of it. Strongly recommend the upgrade to the brakes because the, the cable brakes are okay, but the hydraulic brakes are much more responsive. Um, there's a more positive feel when you're braking. I'll be honest with you, I was on these brakes most of the descent, just keep myself in check. But when I needed them, they worked fine. There was no uh, brake fade or anything like that. It's a really good bike. It's a little bit heavy, but still lift it, still throw it about. But uh, yeah. I've enjoyed it, I've enjoyed riding it, and I am enjoying riding it still. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do the things you're meant to do, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. Um, if you're looking for more van build material stuff, check our playlists, our back catalogue. We have got loads in there that might interest you. The C29 Duot, great little bike. I can't find anything negative about it. That's hard to say, because usually there's something you don't like about a product. The seat. <laughs> the seat. The seat is huge. Look at it. There you go. Found a negative. Yeah, the seat is huge, but very comfortable. But, um, yeah, I can't find anything negative to say about it. So thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next week. Why not head over and check out our new website, www.thecraftyblinders.co.uk. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok and our Facebook group, The Crafty Blinder Van Builds. Thanks for watching.